pretty good for cloudy but hopefully hopefully that sun will still come out hey everyone James with Inspiration here and today I'm supposed to be photographing an assignment um, that is uh, that includes sunlight you know um, I'll explain the details in a second but I don't know if you can see up there is the sun coming through the clouds and all down here is all these clouds this morning it was raining and we've got a little bit of sunlight coming through the clouds and then blue sky and then more clouds so I have I have no idea what today's gonna be like but what I do know is that today is the day that I need to photograph this photo assignment it has to do about sunlight and it looks like this right here according to the forecast may be the only moments that I'll have for sunlight since I'm working off grid today it is very important that I also have the solar panels out in this very very um, this important moment of the day where we actually have some blue sky so the Sun is bright right now it's out it might be the only time it's out today but I wanted to tell you just a little bit what we're what we're shooting what we're photographing and I have my computer here and it um, Zsmer family publishers Zsmer family publishers have a CD called um, oh what a day and they want to create a a, a, a a video with pictures with their music behind the pictures and it's it's not that the words necessarily have to connect to the pictures but they just want some very scenic images and the lyrics are when we reach the land of light when shadows are no more oh what a day when we meet our blessed Savior on that peaceful shore oh what a day and you can read the other verses on the on the assignment details page but the, even though the pictures don't necessarily have to fit the words specifically they want pictures that are bright and landscape photos that are light and um, gorgeous and beautiful and it, it's kind of hard to do that on a cloudy rainy day so in this moment of time here I'm gonna try to see if I can take some and it doesn't have to be landscape photos because okay guys I'm in Colorado right now I've been I've been camping for a couple days and I like I could go out um, there's you can barely see the tops of some mountains over there uh, they're kind of shrouded in clouds at the moment. I could go walking out to the lake um, just up the road and there'd be some gorgeous, amazing mountains. But but you guys don't have the opportunity to just like take pictures of gorgeous mountains all the time. I don't have that opportunity all the time. So I'm going to go take pictures of gorgeous mountains and, you know, submit those. Perfect. If you're in a place where there's gorgeous mountains, submit those. But today, I'm in this camping area, this campsite. There's like, you can't see the mountains. And so I'm going to try to do my best to make like how do I shoot this if I were to live in a place that isn't gorgeous if I'm in the city can I find a little park and just find it's okay it's fine if it's landscape and it's fine if it's like nature like close-up nature shots that are just bright you know so um, with the I okay so the Sun where is the Sun right there's the Sun it's still kind of in the clouds a little bit and then we have the storm clouds still, you know, still coming. So, so I'm gonna try to utilize this, utilize this time. So let me grab my camera. So my camera is back here in the back, all packed up. But I pack my car specifically so that I can access everything if needed, when needed. So you, you don't, you, so you, so things don't stack up. Try to pack as much as I can so that I can access just about everything when I need it without affecting everything else and it's very challenging but I do have my camera right here instead of shooting with my wide-angle lens I I don't I don't feel like there's some there's 
wide landscapes here. So instead, I'm gonna use a mid-range lens. This is just a mid-range lens, my walk-around lens. And I'm just gonna take pictures of the little things that I see. If needed, I also have a telephoto lens. But right now I'm just feeling like this 24 to 105 is going to be the lens that's going to be best for right now. <sighs> okay, so, 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 so what do I take a picture of? Okay, so these are kind of interesting, the, on the ends of the pine um, tree branches. Where's the sunshine? The sun is shining through, shining through the branches. There we go. See, see where the light just kind of like really pops out. Where the light? There we go. See where it pops? Bang! That's where I'm going to get a sunburst. If I use f16, f11, somewhere in there, get a starburst of you know, coming through the pine trees, uh, so that I could do close up. Um, so these are in sunlight right here. Oh, 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 and look at this. There's some flowers right down there. There's some really flowers. They're all, and they're in the sunlight. Okay. So I could, I could shoot these, but I don't want to shoot them back, uh, front light. If I shoot on them like this, if I shoot down on them like that, I mean, it just looks like a normal day, right? But if I shoot up like this, then you're going to have the backlight. And you could do in, let me see if I can get way down low, something like that. The backlight, the backlight is going to make it look like the sun is super shining. Or maybe side light, side light could work. So I'm going to start with these, I'm going to start with these little things right here. Oh, 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 I got an idea. How do you make them look like they like are bright, you know? I'm, I'm looking for light, something bright. And I, I just thought of this idea. Bing! Let's put some water droplets on them. Like that one, see, that one's in sunlight. See, but it's not shade. Like, see how it's just barely in sunlight? I don't know if you can see that. But I'm going to spray it here if I can hold it. Oh, there we go. And I wonder if any water droplets will accumulate. <gasps> yeah, we got some water droplets accumulating. Okay, so we'll see if, <laughs> we'll see if it's right. <laughs> this is so perfect. The sun is right behind that little, and all the little water droplets coming off. I should probably make sure my camera settings are set up for this. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about camera settings. Okay. I want the background to be blurry. I'm not going for the star sunburst right now. So I'm going to go as uh, at 4.0, wide and aperture as possible. And then we got a lot of light, so ISO 100. Uh, then if I'm in aperture value, the, the camera is suggesting around, you know, 320th of a second, something like that. So um, I'm going to switch over to manual and go to 320th of a second, 4.0 ISO 100, and then, okay, now I'm going to compose my shot, and i got to make sure I'm focused. Okay, stabilizer's on, that's fine. Automatic focus is on, that's good. Um, one shot, focus, burst, high quality, raw, automatic white balance. I think I'm all good. I think I'm all set for this. Now just to make sure I focus. What do I want to focus on? Or do I want to zoom in or do I want to zoom out? Um, let's try zooming in first. Then you get more blurry background. And do I focus on the water drop? Or do I focus on the like the the front? Um, I think the water droplets are just gonna be a kind of a you know and not the subject. I think the subject I want to be that the end of the pine branch.
So I'm focusing right on the tip. And there's light on the little drops of water. But it's awful dark, so I'm going to go to one two hundredth of a second. And I'm going to get some sunlight in the background a little bit more. But the sun is glistening off the water droplets. See some blue sky back there. It looks like it just rained. Oh, okay, so now there's like... It was like against a light background, and it's kind of light against a light background. It doesn't look. I wanted it to be against a dark background so it stands out a little bit more. <sighs> Something like that could work. It doesn't have a bright, sunny look to it. But I need to get more sunlight in there. Okay, I'm gonna go wider. I don't like it zoomed in. I mean, yeah. And why will it not focus? Am I too close? Something like that. That's better, but composition I'm not really liking. Let's see, let's follow the branch. I need to follow the branch in. There we go. Uh, focus for me. There we go. And the sunlight coming in. Okay. You know, I'm just not, I'm just not really digging it. Um, I might spend a little bit more time, uh, maybe focusing on what water drop or something like that. But I want to, I want to, I want to try, um, these flowers over here. See what I can do with the flowers. I might come back to this, uh, but I, I want to see what the flowers are like. don't think I'm going to use this spray bottle yet. There's still some natural from this morning's rain still still on there. Still on them. But I want I want to make sure they look bright. That's the idea. That's the concept. So, I'm looking through my lens, zooming in, uh separates them from the background and I and you can see glistening like the light kind of glistening on the leaves a little bit. And there's way too bright because this is in full sunlight. So I'm going to go up to one five hundredth of a second. There we go. Separate one, one flower apart from the rest. Still a little bright. One, let's go to eight hundredth of a second. Focusing. That's not the one that's glistening. Let's let's add a little bit of water. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, there we go. Now it's glistening. It's uh, faced toward me, so it doesn't have a light on the petal. So I'm gonna try this one up here. Got more light on it. Yeah, let's add a little bit more water to that one. It's interesting because this blade of grass, I believe, is causing it to uh, a little bit of shadow. <gasps> Whoops. Bend that back. Okay, so now the sun just went behind some clouds. <laughs> that was really close. <sighs> okay. So the blue has passed. The sun is right there. Oh, it's coming out again. And um, let's see, here behind me, the sun, I guess, is right up there. And then it's like almost just a little bit of blue. And then it's 
all cloudy. There's another spot of blue down there on the horizon though. So that's all I've got left. From here on out, I don't know what it's gonna be like, but I got a, a shot there. I got a shot over here. Um, I'm gonna check on solar panels. Input is 38 watts, 41 watts. And ooh, we're blinking it uh, we're blinking it full. Oh, that's a good sign. Um, guys, I, I, I've done the best that I could. Um, I'm gonna stay set up over there by the flowers. Uh, I'm gonna still try to try to tweak that shot a little bit in between um, you know, bursts of sunlight. I might try the a uh, little pine branch again, but guys, wherever you are, it doesn't really matter what you take a picture of as long as it's something beautiful. If you live in the mountains, go take pictures of the sunlight bathing the mountains, sunrise, sunset. We don't want it to be too incredibly like um, dynamic. It needs to be bright. So go and challenge yourself. Details for this assignment are in the description below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, give me a thumbs down. And if you'd like to watch more videos like this, feel free to subscribe by clicking on my face. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you learned a lot. Keep learning with inspiration, and we'll see you next time.